so up early this cold Melbourne morning. Uh, I've got an appointment at 8.30 in the city and then I've got to catch up with a friend before a haircut at 11 and then a full day back at home, interviews, work and then uh, coaching calls. So I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'm excited because this will be my first day if a cafe is open, walking into a cafe since quarantine. It's a day I've dreamt of for so, so long. First time in a cafe in three months. She's eating she's eating a pie for breakfast. Good day, mate. <laughs> Oat milk's not bad. Not bad. What'd you get? Soy. Mm -hmm. Of course. Some so cultured Melbourne coffee drinker drinking oat milk. It might even be better than your machine. Look at the face. No, 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 no. <laughs> So Chase's first first cut back. What do you think? You happy? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Well. <laughs> now we have to. I have to. Not we. We have to. I have to set up the desk. Get ready. There's ten minutes to the podcast. So go time. Look, I'm quite in road mode. We're breaking all the laws. Man, Doesn't look like well. anyone cares anymore. Oh. Everyone's worried about other things in the world. Nice. So, just hung out with the boys. Uh, it was a really good time catching up with them. And then I was, as I do, I was sitting on Facebook Marketplace and I've been looking for a desk for weeks. And there was a place that was 15 minutes away from home and they had this for $50. So, what a bargain. I was actually looking at one that was like 200. So, I'm gonna take this inside and start setting up the studio. That's my desk, and uh, this is the beginning of what the studio looks like. Whole lot of nothing, but it's gonna be something over the weekend, so I'm gonna clear it up, clean it up, and uh, get ready for studio time. So, just finished my client call. It was a deep dive, it was one of her first ones. It's a, it's a woman that, man, she, what she does is incredible. She's, she wants to educate young people and just all people on grief and how to move through it and how to understand it and be aware of it and not feel alone or unsupported but know what it is how to be how to move through it but also what it is because i think it's something that i was never taught about grief and then when things happened in life it was just you know deal with it and it's like i don't know how to deal with it um and it could be grief of so many different things death move moving schools moving jobs all those types of things and i think this stuff is so important but what was holding her back was fear the fear of it failing and i was and the fear of it being successful but the benefit of her staying in that place of fear is it's comfortable it's you know protecting herself from other people's judgments and if what if statements if it goes wrong or blah 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 but also what it was costing her was her feeling good her feeling stagnant and lazy and putting on this pressure on herself it's it's costing her um it's costing her living her dream it's costing her making an impact it's costing others resources um her goodness her value her information that could change their life and possibly help them through the hardest moments in their life and 
it was amazing to see her go through that. It was amazing to set some tasks for her to actually do and get done because that's the thing. When, when we're stagnant, it's so easy to stay in there. But when we're in momentum of doing things, we start to trust ourselves. We start to take action and we start to get results. But we have to start trusting ourselves. We have to start doing those things we know we should do. Marketplace bargain, ten dollars. This rack, which is going to be my soundproofing kind of board and light stand for the studio. Also, on a second note, wearing shorts in winter. Such a beautiful day in Melbourne. Basically, as you can see, ready for the podcast, but look at the lighting, how much better it is with that. Now, whether that lasts, that's the next question, but look at that. Like, but now, you're on the vlog, so... <laughs> so, finished my last call for the day. Um, coaching call was a really good one. It's a client that I've been... It's been working, we've been working together since November, so really special that we've kept that connection and she's back in the next program. Um, time for some dinner, I'm feeling super lazy. I was gonna order Uber Eats, but I held off because I spent so much money last month on Uber Eats. Um, I'm just gonna make some pasta and um, get some work done. Here he is. What is up? <laughs> How are you, man? This king right here has come all the way from Bendigo, an hour and a half? Yep, an hour and a half. An hour and a half, about two, depending on where you go. And we're just talking about working from home. We're both full-time in our businesses. I think I got inspired to go full-time. And uh, we're just talking about working in your trackies. Yes. Just a regular for you. It's an absolute must. <laughs> have, have you ever done a coaching call in your underwear? No, nah, I genuinely haven't. <laughs> now that you've just said that, you've inspired me and I'm going to do it in the next 30 days. <laughs> it's got to be, a photo has got to be taken. <laughs> a selfie. Yeah. I'll send it to the client after, to, afterwards and say, hey, did you realise I have my <laughs> We're at a cafe. Finally back oh, in a cafe. Snap. It's got to be Instagram. Yes. Conscious King, we've just had an excellent morning together. It's almost like we're dressing the same. We've got our sunnies yeah, it's, it's, it's sitting fresh. out there. I just need my cap. I normally have a cap on. So, the big question I'm sure everyone wants to know because you're the, the man to go to in taking action. How do people take action? Or what's one way people can take action and get motivated in their life? Get motivated. Ask yourself what's worse, staying the same or going after what you want, period. Ooh. And when the, when the pain of, of being where you're, you're at uh, exceeds the discomfort of the action that you need to take, that's when you'll change. Yeah. So uh, I, th I think that's that's the secret. At the end at the end of the day, if you're not moving, well, you don't just you, you just don't yet want it bad enough. That's that's epic. Thanks, man. I got a leaking cup. That's no fun. So, I had a 
brilliant morning coffee with Owen and um, now in the office and we've got some work done over a coaching call other things going on and then uh, dinner with my best friend for his birthday tonight so getting things done and um, yeah there's a whole list of things to be done so getting through those on my Saturday morning enjoying my green tea and 10 degree weather okay so on my way to Alistair's birthday but I ended up scoring another free bike on Marketplace so I'm on my way to pick that up on the way and there was a flat tire and I ended up looking on Marketplace and there was a tire for $15 that fits this bike so going to pick up these two then heading off to Alistair's birthday Look at that, for free. What a bargain. So that's pretty much it for my week. There's been a lot of work, there's been a lot of catch-ups, there's been a lot of fun times, a lot of Facebook markup. So I hope you enjoyed the first vlog back um, and many of more of these are coming. So make sure you tune in, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, all the places. And I'll see you guys next week.